Hey guys, welcome. I uh, welcome back to ETLQL apps. Today we will look at uh, DDL commands. So this is the second uh, level of commands in SQL. Be before that we have looked uh, around DDL statements. So DDL commands create, alter, truncate, and drop commands. And uh, DDL commands are related to schema, structure of the table, and DML commands are related to the data. Right. So if you want to insert any data, you want to update any existing data or you want to delete anything from the table, any kind of data that we will be using insert, update or delete command. So these are the three commands which are part of DML. Yeah. So let's uh, start with that then. So we will look at, look at uh, insert command first and then update and delete. All right. So let's go quickly so I have already created a table right uh, as part of our DDL commands before so these are the columns right five columns now I would like to insert some data so I have already I think inserted some data also let me see yes we already have some data let me insert one more record and then we'll show you how the insert command works right so insert into EMP then you have to give all bra in bracket all the columns name right so EMP ID E name then you have salary and DEPT ID and then DOJ date of joining all right and then you have to use the keyword values and then give the values name all right so in this case I will give five then uh, I'll say Natasha all right then I will say 2500 pound all right and then it will be department maybe 40 and then what is that what is this okay so I'll put the date right so for to put the date it's little tricky guys yeah because this is you see here this is the date type DOG a date type and to insert the value we have to be using to underscore date uh, and then we have to provide the value here so values will be like uh, whatever format you want to use let's say I want to use first July 1995 let's say this is the oldest employee in this one and then I will say DD MM Bye 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 bye. All right, and then let's see. All right, so it is inserted now. So this is how you can insert. Correct. So we have inserted. Let me show you. All right. So if I select start from EMP, then it will give you. This is the record that we have inserted right now. So guys, one more thing. So you can actually skip this part if you are inserting the data in all the columns then you probably don't need to mention it here it will work without mentioning it here okay uh, which means actually you are inserting the data in all the columns right in that case it will work so for example let me show you so Tasha and then so we'll change it to Peter okay and his salary is let's say 2200 and um, let it be same yeah and date of joining is 97 let's say okay let it be the same now let's run so see guys this is also inserted okay I have not mentioned all the column but why do we need to mention the column let's say if I just want to insert the employee ID or employee name up certain columns yeah not all the columns in that case we have to mention it here okay so let's say I want to just put employee name employee number and then maybe DPT number DPT ID all right this three values I want to put so we have to give here the corresponding values also right so let's say this is employee number employee ID 7 and this is uh, Roger okay Roger and then here we don't need to give all this what is that last one is the department ID right not even salary so department ID is how much let's say 60 I'll put it now try yes it is done now let's see what value it is going to display you right 
so you see guys uh, so this is the last one that we have inserted so it has employee id employee name and then it has department id rest other values are null right so it doesn't have any value for salary and no value for date of joining also so if you have to uh, insert the value for a specific columns then you have to go in this way all right so this is all about uh, insert statement and uh, one of the tricky question that interviewer may ask you how do you insert the date column right so date date field is there how do you insert so you have to uh, you have to say that we have to use to underscore date function and we have to give the format so this is the you know value and this is the format so you your format can be anything right so if you are putting mm before dd later then also that will work but corresponding value also you have to so this and this should be in the same order right so this is what you have to do so this is all about uh, insert so now we will look at the second uh, command that is update all right so let's say now what i have done is for roger roger right i have not updated the salary so what i would like to do i would like to update his salary okay because uh, you know this is uh, you know updating the salary so i will say update and then uh, guys you remember uh, in all the ddl commands we are using the uh, you know before the table name we are using a table keyword right but in dml we are not going to use that so table keyword will not come anywhere so we are directly using the name of the table so i will say update emp that is the table name and then i have to use the keyword called set and then i have to give the what exactly i want to set right so i want to set let's say salary salary how much you want to set salary let's say i want to set uh, 1600 all right so this is saying update employee set salary uh, whose salary right so i have to say where whose salary where employee id equal to 7 so uh, the employee whose employee id is 7 please go and set the salary as 1600 all right it's updated would like to see it how much how it is coming yeah okay so you see that uh, salary is updated here right 1600 similarly you can update any other field so for example if i want to update uh, the salary for let's say salary as you know um, 6000 maybe to all the employees who are working in department id maybe 20 right uh, 20 so these two employees salary should be updated with so 1500 and this right so employee id 2 and 3 should be updated with whatever i would like to update so let's say i am going to say update emp set salary I'm just updating salary for now guys so I will say 6000 okay use salary anyways so 6000 and then um, I would like to just say where uh, DEPT ID equal to 20 okay updated now I'll show you see here for employee id 2 and 3 tony and rohan the salary is updated with this right so this is how you can use the update command okay and then third third command uh, within dml is the delete command right so what if i think that i need to delete some of the data which is you know no more valid then i can uh, delete the same way right so i have to use the delete command as command what i have to do i have to write delete keyword delete from table name emp all right so delete from table name emp where uh, i will say emp id equal to 7 maybe so i want to delete the employee everything right delete from employee everything delete from employee table where employee id is 7 so for in this table employee id 7 should be deleted okay it is deleted now let's see no more right 7 is no more so in the same way if i need to delete uh, multiple employees also right 
so I can just say select delete from EMP pair DPT ID equal to maybe 40 I will say right so all the 40 department IDs employees will be removed so we do not have any employee 40 right so it is deleted so this is how you can use uh, the you know DML commands in SQL right so guys uh, all one more uh, question people can ask you uh, you know uh, the all the DML commands need to uh, uh, need at the end of the DML command you have to put the commit statement otherwise it might be rolled back so for example I mean I will cover it later that is part of your TCL but then I can show you once okay so let's say if I say roll back correct and then roll back complete if I say employ probably it is not showing it here because it is auto commit now uh, but I can show you later point of time yeah probably but maybe uh, since in this uh, you know uh, this version of what uh, you know uh, Oracle right may not be supported it's auto commit but yeah I mean uh, you can actually roll back so you have what you have to do you have to necessarily perform a commit statement at the end of all the DML command so that the changes will be permanent so any update any insert any delete it will be permanent in the database right but the DDL commands are auto commit which means you don't need to specifically write the commit statement at the end of the command right so this is what I wanted to cover as part of uh, as part of you know DML command so guys uh, if you have any question I think this I try to cover uh, you know and the best uh, possible easiest way for you to understand if you still have any questions uh, please do comment uh, in the you know uh, comment section I will be able to get you back uh, with the answer right so thank you guys thank you for watching this video and uh, if, you have, if you have not subscribed it please do subscribe it and uh, you know support my channel so that I can bring more and more video for you right so thank you very much and uh, I'll uh, come up with the you know next uh, video until then uh, happy learning